Uh, aloha, everybody. Welcome to District 10 Television. I'm your state representative and host, State Representative Angus McKelvey, and I'm dealing with the crisis of state importance right now, and that is how do I get this cup of coffee that I filled too high on the Keurig into another cup so I don't waste any of it. So that's super important because, you know, people, we can't survive in this crazy building without coffee, and so we're going to try this real quick and see if I don't spill it. Oh, and I make it. Well, everybody, um, I'm happy to say I'm back in Honolulu here at your state capitol. I want to thank all the members of the Lahaina Rotary Sunrise Club for their hospitality and having them bring me in and speak to them about the 2020 legislative session. We kicked it off with something that was in the budget that we just passed today. We'll talk more about that later um, for the Hawaii 2020 census, really underscoring to them the importance of the census and how much money comes into the state of Hawaii from federal and other sources because of the census and census numbers. I mean, case in point, affordable housing. A lot of that formula money is made available to the feds based on the census data. The AMI, which of course is too low for Lahaina, census data can help push it up, but people have to turn out, they have to participate, they have to do the anonymous, important for people to know that, questionnaires that get enrolled and it's just raw numbers. And so we talked about that today at the Rotary thing and also how it would change the landscape of the State House of Representatives and the State Senate. You know, everything pretty much goes back into the pool, so to speak, and the districts get redrawn again across the state of Hawaii for the House and the Senate. We talked about the possibility of an additional House seat for Maui, possibly, yay. Uh, we also talked about the fact that if that did happen, how the borders would shift in certain communities and a direct result of participating or not participating is districts like the West Maui district being split into two or being moved too much in one way or the other way. So good discussion about that. Um, we also had a number of great questions from the Rotary Club. Um, first of all is when's the bypass going north going to get started and that is shortly. We're checking in with Robin from DOT, Maui Division, for exact specification on, okay, where are you at? It's supposed to be starting here shortly. Um, we'll get back to you on that when they get back to us. Uh, the other one is concerns issued by a lot of people um, about the bill coming from the Senate that would decriminalize amounts of methamphetamines, heroin, and other hard drugs. Um, <clears throat> a lot of concern because of the violence and homelessness like the case uh, where an individual was attacked and killed um, revolved around people who are <clears throat> addicted to hard drugs and the concern is in the historic district especially cops will lose all tools to be able to combat repeat violent drug offenders so good good you know stories and input on that uh, the other question that came up from Lahaina Restoration Foundation Theo Morrison is getting the county to transfer the land from them to LRF to finish up the Library Harbor Beautification Project. As you may know, the project's there across from the Pioneer Inn. It's the last stage to what they started further down. The county claims the state owns the land because work was done with the state and the UH back in the day in the 70s. But the reality was that process never got carried through, never got effectuated. The state doesn't have the land. so. Even though the county would like to say, hey, it's not our land, we give it away, you legally didn't, so you can't legally disavow it. So we're putting in a resolution asking the county to support doing an MOU or lease to LRF for the parcel so they can continue the project and do the amazing work they've started at the front of the library and, of course, at the harbor front right there. A uh, lot of questions on MedQuest coming in at, the, at this thing, and really people are re-emphasizing the huge disruption this will have for the healthcare network you know, of Maui. In particular, there was a doctor there who shall name nameless from a pretty big physicians group who said that they, to what we've said before, can't take anybody new, even premium plan people. They definitely can't take any new MedQuest people. And doctors will and patients will lose the ability to see each other. So this is a really, really big problem being the big thing that got me was the doctor said nobody from DHS ever contacted them or anybody in their practice in any official capacity about any questions with the iteration that this would determine the number of health care plans they could work with. So again, the public challenge to them is where's the numbers, got no numbers, got no data, 
you arbitrarily took two and you are going to blow up Maui's healthcare system. All right, um, community is watching and they are very concerned. Uh, also, a question on the West Maui Hospital. What's the status of it? And right now, the status of the West Maui Hospital is its project is in limbo, but the Kaiser Maui Health Center is what's reported in the newspaper are in discussions about taking it over and developing it along, along the lines of emergency rooms and physician space. I think especially that is sorely needed by doctors. That's why doctors are grouping together. Uh, hopefully they'll continue plans for rehab uh, and I believe an emergency center is in the works too. Um, I'm excited they're going forward with it. We've also put some money, extra money, a million dollars more than what the governor requested to Maui Medical Center in the hopes that they will use some of that funding to get that going. So I'm optimistic the ball will finally be rolling because you have them being integrated again, this common theme, into the healthcare landscape, healthcare system. So that's all we have today um, for now. Thanks for joining us. Again, questions, comments down in the link below. Like us, subscribe us if you're new. Uh, also, we'll put a link to Rotary uh, down there too. You can click on them and find out about all the good stuff Lahaina Sunrise Rotary is doing. We'll be back later and have a great week.